Hi, I'm Professor uh, Ron Jikowski here at IMRIC at the Hebrew University Faculty of Medicine and uh, this is my first uh, vlog. I want to tell you a little bit about uh, my lab and what we do here. My lab studies malaria and uh, you know oftentimes when I meet people and tell them that this is what we do the first reaction is oh malaria this disease doesn't exist anymore. Well, actually it does exist and it remains one of the deadliest infectious diseases on earth today, killing over a million of people each year, uh, primarily young children and pregnant women. And uh, it's over 100 years after uh, we discovered that, that plasmodium parasite are the cause for human malaria and we still have no effective vaccine against the disease. One of the reasons that there is no vaccine against malaria is that the parasite had evolved an amazing mechanism of evading immune attack. This is exactly what we do in the lab. We try to understand the uh, molecular mechanism that enables the parasite to evade immunity. And the main concept behind it is that if we'll be able to understand how the parasite evades immunity, we can find ways of interfering with this ability to evade immunity. This will enable the immune system to overcome the disease. The parasite, once it's evading our blood cells, it modifies them. And it modifies them in a way that they become sticky and they adhere to blood vessel walls. And they do it by specific protein that are expressed on the surface of the red cell. And those proteins are also the main antigen exposed by the parasite to the immune system. And the, so if the immune system sees these proteins, they recognize them as something bad, something, uh, some pathogen that entered our bloodstream and start to react and attack it and create antibodies and remove the infection. However, the parasite had evolved an amazing mechanism of switching between different variants of the antigen. So the parasite has in its genome over 60 genes, each encoding for a different variant of those proteins, or if you wish, different, it has 60 masks, and it expresses only a single gene at a time. So the parasite puts one single mask on its face, and the immune system sees mask A, start to react against this mask A, create antibody, and remove all the parasite that expose themselves with mask A. However, a small portion of the population switches expression. They turn off the gene expressing mask A, turn on another gene that will express a different, a different variant of the protein or a different mask, which is not recognized by the immune system. And that, the, this antigenic switching enables the parasite to maintain long-term chronic infection by switching between different variants of the, the antigen. So if the parasite ability to evade immune attack depends on its ability to express only a single gene at a time and maintain the, the rest of the family completely silent and then to be able to switch, just think what will happen if we will find a, a way to interfere with either one of these mechanisms. Either stop the parasite of switching or force it to expose its entire antigenic repertoire. In both ways, we will enable the immune system, and we will give the immune system an opportunity to, uh, to overcome the infection. And that's essentially the, the main concept uh, that uh, uh, leads us uh, in our work. This is the main effort in uh, my lab at the moment, uh, and I'll see you again in our next vlog.